Hello. In this video I will show you how you can make your own online shockwave game using a tool called Maze Builder which is available on challengeu.com. That's challengeyou.com. It's very easy to do. It's a, a very straightforward editor and you can make uh, very fun games pretty quickly. Here up in the Maze Builder right now I have one of our sample mazes called The Castle which is also available at challengeu.com and what we have here is the drawing pad in the left view which is a 2D representation of the maze topographically and then this is a 3D representation which is updated in real time if I grab the character here and move him around you can see that he moves in the maze in real time I can also use the WASD keystrokes to rotate A and D or to translate So S back, W forward. One thing that's useful in the editor mode is to alternate between uh, the standard navigation, which this is, and first person shooter navigation. If I press T in the keyboard, then the mouse rotates the character and WASD is forward back, strafe left, straight right, strafe right. So then I can a little more comfortably navigate through the maze. You can also change your view. You can press the camera angle button or press E in your keyboard. And now I'm looking more of a first person shooter navigation as I rotate around in my maze. But remember, when doing so in first person shooter, you lose control of the mouse. So it's very hard to actually create any walls or drag anything else. You can't do it. So need to actually press T again to free up the mouse. So uh, when you have more complicated mazes like the castle you may want to zoom in and that'll actually double the size of the drawing pad and if you want to pan the drawing pad you can either drag in the character or an icon you're moving or a wall and it'll actually pan the drawing pad or you can press on the arrow buttons. In the upper right hand corner here it will tell you what level you're on and the total levels, in this case there are six levels. And to alternate between levels you can press the up or down level button or you can press the R or F keystrokes. Let me start with a brand new maze here. I'll clear the maze. So what you see is an empty maze here and I will just start drawing some lines. So here I'm drawing a wall. I'm going to change the camera angle so I can see it in front of me. Now a wall consists of two sides, a blue side and a red side. Now wherever you're creating an, an item in the drawing pad, the property inspector will come up. In this case it's for the wall and I see I have a blue side and a red side. In this case there's a blue side and a red side of the wall. So if I want to change a property of that blue side, I will click change on bars, stone, hedge. Let me change the camera angle again so you can see what I'm changing here. Wood, happy face. Now to reactivate that wall I can right click either in the drawing pad or in the 3D window. So now it's the active line. I like the glass. Now you could have done the same thing with the other side by changing the red side properties. And if you want to actually make an entire section of your maze with the same textures, click on set as default, then everything you create from that point on will be the same properties as that wall. So let me quickly uh, select the line by right clicking on it. Now if you want to resize that line, you grab the red circles at the ends and simply move the line by dragging with the mouse. Now we'll quickly make some lines here. The default is brick. Now let me add another level here. So add a level. So this actually creates an entire floor on top of that floor. Let me go back down to level. So now you can see I have a ceiling in here. Now I want to make a way to get to the other level. So I'm going to add a ramp. 
Now the ramp properties are forward, back, left, and right. I'll leave it forward. Let me zoom in. Now you have to actually have a whole access to get to the next level. So let me go up a level. Now you'll see in the drawing pad that everything in the lower level is grayed out. I can see the lines and I can see ramps. You could also see a ladder if that were there. So simply drag a hole and place it over the up on the ramp. And now you can see that you've just added a hole. So now you simply have an access. Now two of the basic things you have to have for a game is a starting line and a finish line. So let me drag the start line here. Let me again change my camera angle. So there's the start line. Let me add the finish line. Let me drag some walls in here, or create some walls. So if you want to actually preview a maze, when you're in the editor, click on preview. And this will show you what your maze looks like. And there's your finish line. So this is a very basic tutorial. More will follow. So I hope you enjoy Maze Builder at ChallengeU.com. Thank you.